Hey guys, and welcome to an Unfiltered Gamer product review. And today I have three products up on the tabletop from three different companies. Steamforge Games, I have the Dark Souls Unkindled Dice set here. I have some Havsies or uh, some Gatekeeper Games die sets. You'll notice by the little towers of these gates here. And then I also have the product for Catan and Fan Roll. This is an inclusion die set for the game Catan. And we're gonna cover each of these type of sets here, talk about the companies themselves, and whether or not you should pick up any of these die sets. They have a ton of more dice. In fact, all of these companies, if for Steamforge, they do board games as well, make specifically dice. Well, we'll get into the video, cover the different die, show you what they are like, and of course, if you'd like to pick them up, this is an unpaid review video, as well as maybe just kind of like previewing all the different dice that hopefully you'll have some interest in if you are a die lover like I am. Okay, so the first set of die I want to talk about are the Fan Roll die sets. This is by Metallic Dice Games. Uh, Fan Roll kind of like a change of name, but this is basically inclusion dice. Now, a lot of companies have uh, inclusion dice, as well as, of course, um, Havsies slash Gatekeeper Games, and inclusion dice are are die with unique things inside them. Uh, these here are their dinosaur dice and these are their Catan dice. Some inclusion dice are based on a game that can be utilized with that game, like the Catan inclusion dice, which you can uh, have unique little images inside them. Little, this is like a sheep. Uh, this one over here is like the wheat. And then you have the rock and the brick and the wood so that when you roll these die, you'll collect based on the die that you're rolling uh, to symbolize the type, of, uh, the type of resources you'll be getting. In other cases, you're just gonna have cute little things inside. I've had cats and dogs and these guys here are dinosaurs. Uh, some of them are gonna have like a groundwork on them uh, on a certain number. It'll have like sand or dirt or water. And then on top of it will be the little miniature that is inside the die. I love inclusion dice. They're really, really beautiful die. It's pretty easy to see the character in most cases. Some of them are a little bit more difficult to see in. It really just depends on the style of the die and what characters they are. And of course the die itself. Like obviously the D4 will have the smallest miniature and probably the most difficult to see. Um, but overall, inclusion die are excellent. I, this is a new thing for me, seeing a lot of these inclusion dice. I know they've been around for quite a while, but they are starting to like start mass producing these guys uh, more consistently and more different types and the availability, availability is higher than than I've seen before. And then of course, I've never actually seen a, a, a set of dice other than when the, the die company makes it themselves that integrates into a specific board game like these Catan dice here. Uh, I am a big fan of Fan Roll. They've done a ton of unique die sets that I've had to, a chance to take a look at. Some of them are the mystery die packs of like full metal or mini dice where you get a set of seven, but they could be literally anything. And uh, those have been fun to open. It's kind of like a mismatch of die sets, but they are a full die set in a package. So that's the type of mystery you can get from these guys here, whether it be the standardized die or the metal die or the mini die or even the mystery die. And then you can also just pick up straight up sets from these guys here. Uh, fan roll has always been an inclusion in my die sets for games like Magic the Gathering, switching them out for other board game dice that I feel are kind of generic, adding a little bit more pizzazz to it. I'm a huge fan of fan roll, and I think you guys should be as well. I'll post a few other images, or I'll, po I'll post them while I've been talking about this, of their die sets that you can go ahead and take a look at, and of course a link down below. The next set of dice here I have is from Steamforge Games, and they primarily make board games, such as Dark Souls and the most recent one that I have, uh, Monster Hunter. And in this case here, we have the Dark Souls Unkindled die set for the role-playing game. Uh, this is uh, licensed by Bandai and of course made by Steamforge and it contains a set of polyhedral dice from the game Dark Souls. When you take off the casing, the first thing you'll see is a you died label right on the box here and you'll open it up and inside is a foam insert protecting the die. Uh, these die are blood red and they are gorgeous dice. Uh, they are the type of die that when you touch them, they might poke you. They could draw blood, they're so sharp. I'll go ahead and set them on this beautiful rotating display here to illustrate how wonderful the die are in fact. Uh, but yeah, these are glitter black and red die and they are hard resin, they are sharp resin die. And they are gorgeous. The set is a really wonderful set, a nice protective area as well and a beautiful casing for your role-playing game needs. Um, now I'm not sure if uh, Street Steamforge Games has done any other die sets, but if they do continue to do so, I will be glad to take a look at them because these are, these are very, very, very pretty dice. Uh, they are clean dice, they are hard, sharp cut dice, and I love those type of die 
in whenever I'm using them for pretty much anything. Uh, these die here have kind of a, a half and half feel to them, which reminds me actually of the Gatekeeper games kind of style, but they're a little different because they kind of bleed in. And they have some wonderful coloration and in, in also beautiful inking as well. Inking is so important on dye to make sure that you can see the colored side to represent what number that has been rolled or utilized. Uh, so in these cases here, typically I don't really like to roll these dice as much. I like to utilize them as counters so that I don't chip the edges or cut them. I'm not certain if that would be the case in this, in this instance, but it's usually what I would typically like to do. Uh, overall, this die set is uh, 10 out of 10. If you're looking for a die set for the uh, Dark Souls RPG or just simply you like the Dark Souls IP like I do. I've been playing Elden Ring recently and the expansion. I even went back and tried out the original Dark Souls and got my butt handed to me. And then I've been playing Wukong, which is also a pretty good game, but I'm even worse at that game than all the rest of them. So that was a pretty challenging one. But regardless, a beautiful die set from Steamforge Games for the RPG of Dark Souls. I love these dice. And last, but certainly not least, we have Gatekeeper Games, or some of you might know them as Havzies Dice, and uh, they have been around with us for quite some time now. In fact, the die that you see here on this little rotating thing here are the Moonshell Dice from my wife's game, Moonshell, a mermaid game. Uh, these dice you can't use in the game, but they are a beautiful set, a beautiful rendition of the board game based on the colors and stylization of the game. Uh, Havzies Dice, or Gatekeeper Games, love to make a ton, and I mean a ton, of unique and interesting dice. They have mystery sets they've been doing. In fact, I am the interviewer for every single mystery video that's been out. So every single time they've made a new mystery set of dice, if you've been up there to pick them up, I'm the guy asking him questions in the background. It's all, of course, scripted, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, and each and every year they make unique, new, interesting mystery dice. I have here stained glass die. These die are actually included with stained glass inside the dice itself. They look kind of like a pop of confetti burst in a die. Uh, they have a wide variety of dice. I've had dice that change color, uh, whether it's hot or whether it's cold. Uh, I've had dice with all sorts of things in them, cats and dogs. And then we have dice like these. These are like kind of a, a abstract variant on Starry Night in die form. <laughs> What are these guys called? The art dice? A dice featuring the art of Sir Vincent Van Gogh. And this is from the mystery die sets. And they have basically just little pieces of what the Starry Night portrait would look if it were attached to some dice here. And then we also have Firefly dice. These are <laughs> clear with glowing, glow in the dark firefly living inside. Like basically they're like bubbles of glow in the dark. Uh, that you can see at night. And so when you're rolling them at night, you can actually see them. They have little fireflies inside. Uh, Havsies likes to introduce, especially for their weird things, their weirder things, or their weirdest things. I think that's all three of them. Uh, a bunch of different unique types of dice, whether it be glow in the dark or oversized or weird things inside. They have introduced a ton of unique variants inside of dice. All their dice sets are statistically tested to make sure that their variation is on par, especially because of the waiting for a lot of these different weird style dice sets that they have. And I've been using these guys for years and years and years. Uh, that being said, I actually love all of these die sets, but I know fan roll quite well, and I also know Havsies or Gatekeeper Games quite well. I've been using their dice for the last four or five years, and I kind of like include them together because I just enjoy them so much. Uh, I love the way they make their die sets and how they have inclusion dice attached to them and how they have the metal dice, which are primarily more seen from the um, fan roll. And then these guys are primarily, primarily going to see the more weird type of die that you've probably never seen before, including dice that you will use in a Dungeons and Dragons game. Basically die that have 40 sides, but it's a d20, or eight sides, but it's a d4. So yeah, all kinds of unique fun stuff from the Gatekeeper game side of dice. Anyway, just a little brief um, explanation of the different types of die sets I've been um, taking a look at over the years. There are so many more dice that you should be able to take a look at from all three of these guys here. I'll link them all down below in the description if you're looking for some stylized dice, looking for a Kickstarter campaign for trusted dice companies that will deliver. They will give you good dice. They have return policies. 
I would highly suggest these too. I'm sure there are other ones that are pretty great. I did uh, Frog and Flute back in the day. If they're still out there, it's another great company that make great dice that I would suggest you take a look at. But these are definitely my two top favorite dice companies, at least as of the filming of this video. If I see some new dice that I like, I will let you know though. All right, there you go. Three dice companies for you to take a look at. Hope you enjoyed the video and me signing off. I'll see you guys next time. Nice protective layer to protect the dice here.